Alright, so this is uh, 40 meters with the Mac uh, plugged in. About S5 on the, uh, on the meter here of just noise. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unplug my Mac uh, power supply and uh, you guys will see how much the noise drops here. 3, 2, 1. Drops down to about S3. Show you on the meter. I'll show you on the scope here. Significant difference there. Um, go ahead and pull it back in here. And we'll turn on the computer. Go back to the meter. And we're already up at S5 again. So that is the old MacBook, not a Pro or anything like that, but it's just an old MacBook, and there's the power supply down there. So we have the Mac power supply, the MacBook power supply, and um, I've already tried a few of these clip-on things to try and figure out the noise issues, but uh, they haven't really worked, basically because they're not tuned for uh, the right frequency to uh, help in the band range. Um, so the one thing that we can do uh, with this is we can take this out and that opens up that spot so we can extend this and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a core uh, that's made for hand use and we're just going to wrap this around this core. So we're going to go in here and we are going to take this and wrap it through as many times as I can. Now the uh, power supply itself is going to be sitting right next to the computer at this case, but hopefully this core is going to alleviate a lot of the noise that I'm getting from the power supply in the hand band. So we will uh, I'll go ahead and try this out once we uh, get this wrapped all the way. Alright, so we have the Mac uh, book power supply here and I've gotten a 21 turns through this core and so now we're going to go ahead and plug this in and uh, test it. Uh, and I've extended this by just using a normal uh, power cable um, with that in. So we can go ahead and plug this in right here. That way the wall wart almost power supply doesn't have to be sitting at the wall wart. Now I can have a, a good extension on this for getting this plug plugged in. So let's go ahead and plug it in and test it out. Alright, so I have the new uh, power supply ready to plug in and turn on the computer. Uh, basically, I took the power supply and wrapped the core uh, with the power cord on it. So right now, uh, here's what the band looks like, uh, just a few minutes later than my previous video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the S meter here so we can see. So we're just about S2.5, almost an S3. There we go, S3. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn on my computer and see what happens here. So the computer is now turning on. And that has alleviated all of the noise that we were getting before with that power supply. And um, I got a jumble of wires back here, but I'll pick up my phone and show you guys here. So we have the MacBook power supply here. And, uh, and I just took it around this core about 21 times, or 22 times, something like that. And then it's now just plugging into my computer. Before, it was just going this straight into my um, power strip down below, and this core going into my computer. So now I've extended it by pulling out the little wall ward adapter thing that Mac has. And I've extended it with just a normal power cable. And now, instead of having a noise of S5 and higher, I have a steady noise of S3 and my MacBook is starting up with Windows because it's a good old dual boot. Anyway, if you have any questions on that, feel free to post below, but uh, this is just another proof that Toroid cores are amazing uh, for alleviating a lot of noise that you can get.